All right, guys, welcome back to the channel today. I hope everyone's doing well. In this video today, we're gonna to focus on paying attention to patterns when we're out on the water crappie fishing. You know, something as seemingly trivial uh, as lure type or even lure color like this clear plastic I have here can make the difference between catching a few crappie and filling up your entire ice chest with them. And so we all have our go-to uh, plastics and rigs and jigs uh, that we like to use in presentations that we're comfortable with and we're confident with and that's great. But as we look to improve our catch ratio, I'd like to encourage you to, to pay attention to certain things like water temperature, when you're catching fish or not catching fish, water clarity, uh, cloud cover, whether, that's, whether the sun's shining uh, or not, uh, whether there's a low pressure, uh, high pressure, low pressure system uh, moving through. And so all those things, they, 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 they matter and they help us put together an approach for how we fish for the, the crappie on any given day. And over time, if you pay attention to those things, it will hopefully help you to be able to put an approach together to go out and be more successful on the water and put more fish in the boat. So today we're gonna be focusing on patterns of, of color, We've, we've, we've got some rain moving in and out, has been all day. Water's a bit churned up, a lot of rain last night. And so um, my approach today is gonna be um, dull but high-vis combo, combo plastics that we're gonna use to try and get the fish to bite today. So let's get after it. And of course, I'm gonna show you how I'm catching these fish. So let's get after them, it should be fun. All right, so as I was mentioned, we're gonna start with a high-vis dull combo. And this is what I mean by high-vis double. So this is high-vis and this is dull. So we've got a black, kind of a mid-level, you know, uh, uh, chartreuse in there. And then um, uh, very, very high visibility chartreuse at the end. And so that's the combination we're gonna start with right now. That may change if the, um, if the sun all of a sudden peaks out uh, of the, the clouds. Again, low pressure front moving in right now. You can see there's a little bit of drizzling on the water right now. So. Um, Let's get after it right now. And again, this is all about putting patterns together. We'll see what works for us and adjust as needed. There's one there. Yeah, he's down deep. First fish. On a high vis color, high vis dull combo. So immediately, I'm, I'm thinking now that we're gonna be, let's get this guy back. I'm gonna be hugging the bottom today and hugging the, uh, the structure very tightly. And that's what I mean when I say put together patterns. Uh, we've got a low pressure system moving in. And so for me, if I go back out, I'm gonna automatically now be thinking if I've got the same characteristics, dingy water, I've got uh, cloud cover, low pressure front moving in right now uh, in the creek, uh, I'm gonna, this is gonna be what I'm gonna try first. Uh, or at least log down that, it, that this is what worked for me on this particular day. And again, all of this is so that we improve our catch ratios on the water. There's one there. Yeah. Hit that one on the drop. A better fish this one is. Bad fish, huh? Yeah. A little bit chunky. We'll get him back in the water. We want him bigger than that. Get back in there, boy. But he's legal, though. Good fish. That is a legal eating size crappie. There's another one there. Oh, boy. My gosh. Woo -hoo. There's one there. Another one. Yeah, a little bit smaller one. You guys got any comments? Leave me some questions. Got any questions about some of the terms that I've used, like dull, uh, high vis combo, the type of structure we're fishing right now, water clarity, temperature, or even what I've mentioned about uh, putting together and noting down the patterns and characteristics of, uh, of your findings uh, when, when uh, fish are biting what they're not when they're not biting um, Just leave me a comment now. I'll get back to you There's one there another one. A decent one here feels like Yeah, a decent one I'm gonna fish yeah, He's a what would typically be considered an, an eater. 
10, 10 and a half inches, but uh, too small for what we want. Yeah, let's get it back. Paying attention to patterns. <clears throat> very, very important. So next I'm gonna try uh, two different variations. Um, one variation of the um, chartreuse uh, and dull uh, shad pattern and another uh, in the slab slinger. I'll try that. Um, I think I'll try the slab slinger first, the purple. We've already had some, some green down there, so we'll We'll try that, and now we'll see if the fish are interested in that. See if it results in more strikes. See if it results in better quality fish. And we'll log that away in the old memory book. Let's get it down there. There's one little small one, feels like. Yeah. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Back down. Lavender color. There's one there. Yeah. Bad. We'll go ahead and get him in the box. Not too bad. Yeah, good fish. Yeah, we've got a little bit of rain fall. Yes, yes, yes. Do the fish bite when it rains? Absolutely. Fish got to eat too. There's one. Fish gotta eat too. And I'd say that's pretty decent fish, wouldn't you say? Yeah. All right, so I'll switch it up now. We'll try the purple. Just giving them a little something else to look at, different color, but high vis nonetheless, and a different profile, presentation profile with, with double jig, uh, all the same, but a, a 1 16th ounce on top and a different color. And so let's see. Got any takers down there? Uh huh, there's one. Small. But a good fish, nonetheless, legal fish. And again, we're paying attention to patterns. There's one there, right out of the gate. In the area we stopped that. Rain seems to want to persist, but so does the fish bite. One. one decent fish here. Yeah. Decent fish. Yeah. Another one. Yeah. 
bat. Again, a majority of these have been caught on the uh, this high vis combo bait here. And actually, this is a hybrid. Um, I couldn't tell you what this color is because I made it. I put it together because I didn't have any more um, of the uh, tuxedo black uh, by Bobby Garland slap slingers. And so um, I had to make that. And so there you go. There's one. This one was on the purple. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh, look at this. I got two of them on. Oh, look at that. Now that's getting it done right there. That is getting it done. purple or the lavender I'd say so far most of the fish have come on this oh this hybrid plastic that I made when I could not get any more uh, when I couldn't find any more of my um, the tuxedo black there's another one here oh, this is just a decent fish here Good fish, good fish. Yeah, well guys, thanks so much for joining us today. We've got some heavier rain moving in, so I'm going to go ahead and get back to the dock. Um, get, get a shot of that guy right there. Don't forget that when you're out on the water, pay attention to patterns, and hopefully it will help you improve your fish catch ratio. If you like the content, please like, share, and subscribe, and I appreciate all the comments that I've been getting. Uh, they're wonderful to see them coming. And uh, thank you so much for joining us today. We'll go out, get a line in the water, enjoy yourself fishing, and we'll see you along the way. <laughs>